What's going on guys, comes here back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video and today I want to go ahead and make this video on basically the best collections that you guys should be completing although we're not really so much talking about the collection reward although that does factor in a little bit we're more so going to focus on the XP that we will be earning because you guys already know how much I love talking about XP on this channel as you guys can see I am just about to level 60 which gets me another gold flashback pick but I am that I'm rapidly approaching level 75 experience which I get a choice between three signatures and a bunch of other high diamonds which I think I'm gonna take this Ichiro. I think personally he will be the first one that I take. That's just kind of who I'm leading towards. But of course, you guys already know the best cards pretty much in the game are locked alongside the XP reward path. And there are also some great collections that you can complete. Obviously, the end goal is to get um Yvonne Rodriguez, Rogers Hornsby, and Willie Mays, but that obviously would take a lot of stubs and a lot of time grinding the marketplace, which you might not have. So we are more so gonna focus on the XP side of things. So you know, basically, um, the first thing we are going to talk about is basically just go into every single, well, not every single collection, but the collections that you guys should be focusing on in order to get all of this XP. So, of course, the Oreos is obviously one that you probably thought that you would be seeing on here. Thankfully, once you go into the collections, you can just view every single card in the marketplace. The Oreos have the luxury of having just two silver players, although they do go for a little bit over a thousand stubs a piece. And, you know, the bronze and the commons cards are also pretty expensive for the Orioles as well but this 82 John scope is actually a very solid card which I definitely would recommend doing the Orioles collection for alone because this guy could be an event beast you know when an 82 you know like a gold card is needed um, good contact good power 90 arm strength at second base you definitely can move him to shortstop um, that Jonathan scope definitely looks like a good card so obviously that Orioles collection is something you are going to want to do and obviously the XP rates will stay the same for every single team so uh 3500 plus 3000 that's 6500 plus another 2500 is 9000 plus another 2000 is 11000 um so basically for collecting a whole team you are going to get 11000 experience points which obviously that does vary on how many levels and how much progression you are going to accumulate it is harder to level up once you get to the higher levels and the higher tiers um so eventually especially if you are you know just like in the 10 20 bronze range you are probably going to at least get an entire level from completing a team but obviously and this goes for pretty much all of these i will reiterate um make sure just collect 10 collect 20 collect 30 of you know those teams uh the angels for example obviously they're one of the most expensive for one guy for mike trout I have 33 angels collected you guys see I have all of these guys collected which I will get into how I don't have these cards but they are collected in just a little bit but you know even though I don't have that many plans of completing the angels right now um I still have collected 30 so that is still um 55 7500 xp um experience points so you don't have to collect all the players on the team especially for those ones that have diamond players just make sure collect 20 of them collect 10 and you still will get a good amount of xp um the toronto blue jays is one that i already have collected and this is definitely one that i would recommend that you guys do um once again because you get this 84 overall brett cecil who is going to be pretty much one of the best lefty relievers that you are going to find early on 90 hit 9 95 k9 75 walk 9 some of the best like the best pitch repertoire really you could get a knuckle curveball a changeup, and a cut fastball i just really like that brett cecil i was a big fan of his cards last year and this year i am having a lot of fun with him as well um the blue jays they just have one gold who pretty much goes for the quick sell value they are very cheap to complete and i definitely would recommend doing that the free agents is something brand new into the game and something i would definitely recommend that you guys do because look at all of this experience points i'm not going to do the math because that that's a little bit too hard that's a little bit of high numbers i'm not going to do it but you guys can probably get the point um you know just for collecting 40 which i think you can collect 80 with getting pretty much all commons of course there are a lot of common uh free agents that is 11,500 experience points 
by collecting 80 commons that go for like 30 40 stubs so i definitely would recommend doing the free agency once you get to the 120 and all it will be a little bit more expensive as you have bronze cards but still they only go for about 60 stubs a piece and you know there's only two there's only one gold card and one silver player um i think craig kimbrough goes for about 2.7k right now i bought him for 2.2 last night obviously once again this goes for everything especially silvers on i would always recommend putting in buy orders if you just want to buy commons outright and even bronzes i think you can be okay but i definitely would recommend if it's more than 100 stub differential put in a buy order it might take a little bit more time but it will save you save you stubs in the long run so you'll be able to complete more collections but yeah the free agents obviously you guys can see i've done all the free agents definitely something that i would recommend that you guys do and you know maybe if you actually no i definitely would do it now because the kimbrel honestly is pretty solid this year pit speeds are a little bit up of course for online play i definitely would recommend that the chicago white Sox. once again they only have one gold card being jose abreu um and i really don't see anybody else going gold on this team so i think you should collect this right now obviously i have a little bit um more to go on this one but um you know that's still 11,500 experience points for every single team that you complete and you know that's really what you want to focus in on they don't cost that many stubs the tigers once again another one just the lone gold card being miguel cabrera going for about 1.5 thousand um once again 11,500 experience points definitely would recommend that um for like the tigers and white Sox, their collection rewards aren't really the best but you know we more so are focusing on the experience points that we get wow uh, that we will get the kansas city royals is one that is kind of tricky this one is more expensive because they do have billy hamilton and uh, uh mondesi here who are both silver cards but they have like 99 speed and 94 speed so they are definitely expensive with merrifield is their only gold card obviously i believe salvador press is out for the entire year uh, but with merrifield i would recommend doing the royals now because Whit Merrifield is one of the most slept on baseball players in the MLB right now. He potentially could go diamond, of course, second baseman. It's easier for them to go diamond if they get increased hitting stats. So if he starts hitting for more power this year, he definitely has a chance of going diamond. So I would recommend getting this sooner rather than later. Also, that Coving Herrera is also a very good reliever card that you will want in your bullpen. So I would recommend to go ahead and do that. Um, moving on, you'll got, you guys will notice the AL Central is pretty easy um, because they don't have too many great players besides the Indians. Of course, the Twins. Um, I would recommend doing the Twins now because they have guys like... Uh, you know, Bertie Eos, who does, I do think will go gold this year. He had a great fan. He had a really good first outing for the Twins. Um, then they only have two golds. Once again, Nelson Cruz and Eddie Rosario. Um, obviously, like for the Angels and pretty much any live series diamond team, um, you know, just collect 20 of them and you should be good. You'll still get a good amount of experience points. Uh, moving on to the Seattle Mariners, this is definitely another good one. Mitch Hanniger. I don't know if he's going to go diamond this year, but I definitely think he has a good chance of getting upgraded. And of course, he is the Mariners single and lone uh, gold player, so they are pretty cheap. Um, the Rangers are a bit different because they have quite a few silver players that all go for a decent amount. They do have Joey Gallo, of course. Um, I, I guess I would recommend to do the Rangers just because, once again, Joey Gallo is such an event beast. Um, so you can have him for your lineup. And then Jose Leclerc is their only gold. So I definitely think the Rangers are another team that you guys should be doing. The Marlins are tough because um, this Kyle Baraclaw I don't think is really good. And once again, they have virtually no good players. Brian Anderson, I guess, could possibly go gold this year um but obviously the bronzes are going to be really expensive so you know it will cost more stubs but once again you have to balance out you know those stubs you're going to get those xp reward pass rewards uh for basically free all you have to do is get your xp there so it will cost a little bit of stubs to get there so i definitely think it still will be worth it um moving on though i think that is pretty much it for like all the live series teams because a lot of the national league teams have live series diamonds because even the padres now they have manny machado um and of course the phillies um they have uh both Aaron Nola and bryce harper now and like the reds have Votto, so everybody else pretty much has you know a good amount of golds or they do have a live series diamond i guess the 
Diamondbacks don't have a live series diamond so this one is probably still also relatively cheap they just have David Peralta and Zach Greinke which shouldn't be too much that is definitely another one that you guys should be looking at so those are pretty much all the teams that you guys should start looking at I think it's about 10 or 11 teams including the free agents which gets you obviously more experience points than all the live series teams um but you all should try to complete these get that experience level up like I said level 75 you get a choice between three signatures two of them being starting pitchers one being a reliever and then also a bunch of really high diamonds and then once you get to silver level one uh, once you advance to the silver tier you're going to get a choice between some of the best signature cards in the game you know Frank Thomas Joe Morgan those guys right there so I definitely think you guys spend the stubs it isn't that expensive on average per team that I covered in this video might be about 2.53 maybe 4k at a high um, but you know really not that expensive if you think of all the rewards you will get alongside the XP path one thing that I do want to bring up because I feel like a lot of people will be talking about this in the comment section is I know a lot of people have been worried about they might be getting uh, basically cheated out of their experience um, which I do want to bring up for one point the Giants for example I know for a fact that I've collected 20 Giants if I collect auto select right here it'll say I have 21 and you'll notice I didn't get any experience right there I believe the reason for this is and I could be wrong but this is just my theory um, you guys know we had a roster update with a bunch of transactions a bunch of free agents changed place a bunch of players on the Giants or any team rather you know changed places you know going to the free agency because they're you know like not on the 40-man roster or whatever the case may be that's the reason why you probably already collected 20 because it doesn't say that you have so you probably already did that didn't realize that so that's probably the reason why I don't think it's a glitch in the game I could be wrong on that let me know down below in the comments if you guys experience any further issues one more thing that I do want to bring up before I finish this video always make sure to watch out when you click auto select I accidentally clicked auto select and now I've locked in Corey Seager Walker Buehler's fine but you know especially Corey Seager who I think has a great chance going diamond I accidentally locked him into the collection so now he is not sellable and I'm gonna make damn sure I don't do that with Cody Ballinger because he's doing really good this year I think he will go diamond this year he has six home runs already which is crazy but definitely make sure I know it's enticing because you just want to get everything done quick to hit auto select always make sure look to see if you have any golds or diamonds or any player that you do not want to lock into the collection because if you lock them in they are not going to be sellable any longer so definitely want to make sure for that don't make the same mistake that I did but uh, yeah I think this is pretty much going to wrap up this video if you guys have any more questions in the comment section please leave those questions and uh, yeah let me know what uh, level XP you guys are at like I said I'm about at level 60 hopefully within the next week I should be able to hit level uh, level 75 and be able to get you a gameplay on whoever I choose with my level 75 diamond but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video make sure like down below hope you guys are great today and there you guys what's up yeah love is love and hate is hate to die is an awesome adventure and i can hardly wait earth is a prison i need a great escape you know i'm in my zone when i'm up in outer space you know i'm in my zone when i'm up in outer space you know i'm in my zone when i'm up in outer space you know i'm in my zone you know i'm in my zone i took a bite of the glory